So unfortunately the engine's going as you can probably hear. This is the first chance I've had to sit down and do an actual vlog. We've just come, we're just coming around the capes, so we've just rounded uh, Van Diem. Uh, coming up next is uh, Cape Rianga and then North Cape and then we're around the very top of New Zealand. It's taken us four days to get here. Uh, we left Lenham and got across the Cook Strait fairly no major issues. Um, we had a fairly a reasonable sail up to New Plymouth and then once we got around the corner and going up the, the big bite the wind swung around from the northeast that we were supposed to have and it swung around to north north west which means we've been pounding into it for th the better part of three days um, we finally managed to put one last tag in to get us out far enough that we come down and come across the top of the capes. So now we've got the motor running just to charge the batteries and help us fight the current that comes through here which is about one and a half knots. Uh, but we were doing, we were coming down into the wind, we are doing eight knots over ground. So that's fairly spectacular. This is a 35 foot yacht and we're doing eight knots and that's boat speed, not speed over ground. Speed over ground is about the same at that time. So she's a quick boat. Um, but pounding to windward like we have the last three days, we've been doing, we've still been doing seven knots and we've had between uh, 12 and 15 knots of wind to do it with. So it's been pretty good, but it's just been hard work. So, that's it for now. So, after my self-extended night watch, I was supposed to be off about an hour ago, um, what ended up happening is we came around Cape Rianga and we ended up getting hit with a really bad current. And so we are doing about three knots over ground and then I sort of took over my watch at about 11 o'clock and we are doing so about four knots. We had about six and a half knots boat speed because we were boosting a little bit with the motor. Um, and about an hour or so into that, uh, the wind started to kick in a little bit, the sea started to settle. I brought the boat up angle a little bit more just to load up the rig, uh, just to stop it slapping around. And then we started picking up boat speed. So as we are doing that, I was slowly pulling, pulling the throttle off um, because we are just over speeding on the rig. And we are maintaining about six knots. And then as the currents changed, uh, we ended up doing just six knots boat speed, six knots over ground, uh, motor was at idle so we just shut it off and we've been cruising along ever since. And about 20 minutes ago uh, North Cape light came into sight and that was that warmed the heart a little bit after the four day struggle just to get up here and then a nice chill rounding of North Cape. And just as I was coming to go grab the camera, um, everyone was, was actually asleep. And there was a little line of foam just on the edge of the boat and I sort of had a quick look at it. And then looked up and down, there was this line of foam all the way up and down as far as the eye could see. And it suddenly occurred to me, it's the confluence between the Tasman Sea and the South Pacific. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't get any sort of photos or video of it, but it's there. It's actually now off to the starboard side because we crossed over it. And for the record, as you cross over a confluence, apparently the wind dies completely. We just drifted over it. Uh, it wasn't until we got well clear of it that the wind kicked back in again. Um, so now I'm going to have a coffee, finish that, and then we're going to drive and start heading down the eastern side of New Zealand having sailed all the way up the western side of the North Island. So, stay tuned. The noise you hear now is recorded from inside the boat after I've finished my watch. We're doing about seven and a half knots on a broad reach with just a very slight rolling swell 